I am working on a project to allow some communications between the guy in the skid steer, the guy who is cutting down a tree, or the guy in the lawnmower, so our whole crew can communicate with each other but also have noise reduction earplugs or earbuds. I've spent a lot of time with the Milwaukee earbuds and the DeWalt earbuds while working. I keep two pair of Samsung earbuds for my travel or for my leisure. I just find that nice to have a set that's clean, easy to get to, can carry with me for travel. That's not my work stuff. So I keep a balance of different ones. I could see where you could use the DeWalt all the way around. In my opinion, the Milwaukee has a bigger case and I use these for noise reduction. And sometimes when I have earbuds in on an airplane or something like that, I don't need the full noise reduction that these are giving me. Sometimes I like noise canceling and noise canceling works out well with the Samsung and I can adjust that through an app on my phone. It's easy. The DeWalt earbuds to me are excellent as far as sound goes. Now that varies on the phone that you have and the fitment in your ear. If you find these tinny without bass, make sure you have them fit right in your ear because that is a huge complaint by everyone who has these on the crew. If they don't fit them perfectly the first time or decently, they will sound tinny. There's no bass, I don't like it, it's not loud enough. Well, put a different size earpiece in, get it right for your ear, and you will really enjoy these. And they're priced right. I think that is huge. The price here is great. Now the noise reduction, is absolutely amazing on the Milwaukee earbuds. They are something that I have grown used to in the field. If I'm out on the mini skits here, if I'm sawing, even if I'm mowing lawn, I wanna make sure that I have these in. Saves my ears in its night and day difference compared to the DeWalt. So if you're looking for noise reduction, the Milwaukee's are where it's at. To me, I don't see a huge difference in sound quality between the two. They're both just as loud, they're both just as bassy, and they work quite well. The difference in when I first got these was I thought the size it doesn't bother me to have the Milwaukee's in my ear a bit. I can wear them 10 hours a day, no issue. I like having the case, the case is large. The case that they come in allows for six charges. These last about 10 hours. You're gonna get six more charges out of this. So a full week without charging this guy through the USB-C will work out quite well. You have no issue, just carry that with you, charge it on the weekends, life's good. Now we got the DeWalt pair. This is a little bit different. These fit different, a little bit more like the Apple earbuds, in my opinion, or AirPods. They have a little bit less runtime. They're saying six to nine hours with this. We're getting in the seven and a half hour range, listening to music and talking. Now this case will charge them three extra times, so you're not gonna make it through a full week, but it does have the USB-C behind it. Much smaller, much lighter, much easier to use. And in some ways it's kind of neat where if our current situation, when we put these earbuds in, they actually turns on the radio. If you can see here, the play and pause button goes on. So as soon as I pop these in my ear, this turns on, allows my music to start going, and everything's good. Now, what I've noticed with this quite a bit, and I, I think this could kind of get annoying, is the silicone earbuds on here fold up, if you can see that and they don't fit the best and you have to make sure that when you're in and out that you have them right. The other thing that I've noticed with the DeWalt's compared to the Milwaukee, because I wear Milwaukee's 99% of the time because I want the noise reduction, when I look at the actual end, it's much longer than the DeWalt. So it fits my ear better because I don't get as much I don't want to say friction or it doesn't grab my ear as well. The Milwaukee seem to really fit in there and stay. Now there is a significant difference between the two in how they're going to fit and that's something to look at. Now you can probably hear these guys going. There's a sensor right here that on the DeWalt's knows that if it's in your ear. So if you point these down, you can look at my phone, it is playing at this point in time. A big complaint with these is that this sensor gets dirty and stops working. And once that sensor stops working, it will play, pause, work with things, and 
it, it'll do things that you might not want it to do. And you can see I'm just putting it down to the wood, turning it on, and there it goes off, on. So people complain that you get sweaty, one thing moves a little bit, the sensor stops working, and they're on and off. I don't see that as a huge deal. I haven't found that with mine yet. What I do get messed up with is how they go in, but they go in, sit there, you can see the lights on to charge. Now, another huge difference between the two is how things work. The volume up, volume down, are these tiny buttons that are here, and you can push them, and it'll do different things. It'll skip forward in songs, just like any other earbuds, but the buttons are very small. Compared to the Milwaukee, they give you exactly what each button does, and it's simply a push button forward reverse on this, so you just push straight in your ears, which I think is great, because when you're wearing these, it helps you keep them in a little bit if you push on it, and things happen. Now, you can also turn that off so nothing happens when you push on it uh, but it's one of those things that it also allows you to grab in and push them in where if you grab these in weird places you can end up doing a little more than you want either skipping forward ending a call something like that it, it just it's a difference in how they're set up DeWalt's if you want to get into something that's more like an AirPod and you want to get into something that isn't going to give you as much noise reduction but is probably going to be just a touch comfortable, more comfortable all day, the DeWalt's work. You have to set up the Milwaukee's for your ear in order for them to be comfortable all day. I hear a lot of people talking about how they put these in, wear them for eight hours and your ear hurts. And that's because you're putting too much of a foam piece in. And it's got too much pressure. They have a ton of different sizes in here that you can put in. Make sure that you have the right size. They come with a full bag of different sizes. They come with silicone. They come with all kinds of things. Each pair, in fact, there's eight different pair that comes with DeWalt. Only two of the DeWalts are going to be basically any type of noise reduction. The rest are going to be silicone pieces that are going to fit in in different ways. Make sure you fit them to your ear. Without fitting them to your ear, both of these sound horrible. Once you fit them to your ear, both of these sound amazing. Both are IP56 rated, so you can drop them in water, you can do whatever you want with dust, you can clean them up, that I think that's the most important part, run them underwater, clean them up. I think that's important to keep these incredibly clean. There's a lot you can do with these. Here is my situation. We use these DeWalt walkie-talkies in the field. These are two watt. We can be a long ways apart, still get to each other. No one wants to wear this earbud and this earbud comes with a place that you can push to talk. None of us really care about having this push to talk. What we need to do is be able to listen to everyone through our earbuds. So we need to connect through the auxiliary here to a Bluetooth adapter. That does not sound like it's that difficult, but it can be because these want to connect to a phone and most of the guys want to listen to music at the same time, but then when we push the button, we want this to step on the music so you can hear people talking and then come back. So if we were able to listen to our phone, take a phone call, obviously we can't set priority to a phone call with a simple setup, but we want to have priority set to the DeWalt's so that once we push the button and go through the call, it will step on anything else. You would just hear the guys talking and it would go back to your own music. That would be ideal. In this case, we are probably just looking at putting in some sort of earbud connection so that we can put our Bluetooth to auxiliary in here and then just pair up to earbuds. If you have suggestions on that, I would love it because one of the big things that we have, even with the call feature on these DeWalt's, which I'll hit here, it's gonna be fairly loud. Even with that, when someone's running a chainsaw or if they have this sitting forward in the mini skid steer or it's on your belt, you're not picking this up. And if it was coming through the earbuds, it would be a major benefit. If you have suggestions on how to connect an aux to Bluetooth up to your headphones or earbuds, that would be great. If there's a way to connect up to two things so we could allow a phone and allow 
our walkie talkies to go between, that would be even better. That is the end goal here as to where I'm going. This stuff simply isn't going to work. And currently some guys are trying to use this and use the DeWalt's as a mono earplug, which, which works. So you have one DeWalt in the ear and uh, this in the other ear it doesn't, that doesn't feel right to me. So I'm still looking for ways to get around that. Look forward to your comments below. If you have questions on these DeWalt's or the Milwaukee earbuds, let me know. I will answer those too. As always, we appreciate your time. Give us a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Have a great day.